Heads up. And Rubinda. Alright, there we go. That should be all the advertisements out. Hey, Turin.
All right, I think it is time for us to get a bit of a move on. So. There I am. Hello. Hello, and welcome to a Friday afternoon edition of Bullet Puzzles Journal. Journal, although I suppose if you're in half the country, it is either noon or just about to be noon. But, uh, yeah, anyway, yes, hello. It is Friday, so... Let's go ahead and enjoy ourselves with some uh, casual blobbing action, which is exactly my meaning by that. I am really afraid to hit. <laughs> I almost accidentally hit the start stream button again, which I have no idea what that would do, but probably not something good. Let me get this up so it's actually there. So yeah, here's what we're doing. Uh, we are at the end of our little journal here. Uh, so we are playing Etrian Odyssey 3 HD. We got into the game proper yesterday, uh, and now we're going to play a lot more of it uh, and see kind of where we end up, because I'm still planning on doing another week of it, but uh, it turns out that the game's picnic mode kind of trivializes some aspects, which might as well just go ahead and get the game open. Demarcate when we're actually doing this. So yes, Etrian Odyssey 3. Um... I have gone ahead and I did some off-screen grinding, and by some I mean a lot. Uh, I think I gained like eight levels uh, because I want to make sure that we are at the enough. I saw a recommended level for end of first stratum, and we're at that level because it turns out there's not as many floors, floors to the stratums as I thought. I thought there were like six or seven per. There's only four. Uh, so... Yeah, we are actually technically leveled up enough to so that we could probably end this floor. And even then, uh, if we really wanted to end the straight, and we could just go and turn on picnic mode and just go ahead and obliterate the thing. But uh, we're not going to do that yet. So we're going to try and get a little bit further. We were in, uh, we just started floor two yesterday. And we're going to try and uh, see where we can get. So hopefully... Ignore that. Okay. Okay. So, as you can see, I got to level 17. I've been doing a little bit of grinding. Also, I have almost four hours in this. Uh, I went ahead and did some grinding just so we can get some of the uh, less interesting bits of gameplay. This is an RPG, after all, so therefore... Uh, there's going to be some, uh, a lot of grinding. So, I went ahead and put on a picnic mode and did some of that grinding, so we're going to turn it back to basic. Okay, so, um, things that happened while I was, did off street. Uh, I was going through, because I wanted to map out the second and third floors. Uh, I ran into a kid who joined our party for a little bit, and then I beat the FOE, well, the third floor FOE, and he was impressed enough that he went back to town, uh, which actually, I wonder if the person here, and yes, I've technically gone to the fourth floor, uh, which when we went to the fourth floor, someone was waiting there for us, saying, hey, you should go talk to the Senatus about going to the fourth floor, which we're gonna do now. As we've met Kujura in, in the fourth basement, Flash red outfit, carrying a katana. Kajura is right, I'm afraid. You won't be able to explore any further for the time being. The labyrinth is being choked explorers in the, er, becoming choked with explorers in the depths of the first stratum. To wreck that, I'm issuing a mission requesting guild state, uh, slay a certain monster. So state, let's see, a new mission is available. Let's see. Proof of will, the Senate's wish to do gauge the strengths of those pumping. Defeat the Narmer. Uh, this mission will fall to you. He wants to do his purpose to it. There is something we can help claim for us the undersea realm beyond the first stratum. The challenge of death requires more than a journeyman's skill, else it would be a suicide run. Though so we do assign this ordeal to the explorers to test our worthiness. See if you can best the giant catfish Narmer, guardian of the fourth floor. The ideal outcome would be to defeat Narmer and go see what lies beyond. Fortune goes with you. Okay, so we got that objective to do. Um... Uh, 
Also, I want to see if you have anything more. Yep. Uh, let's see. What? Oh, hey, I can actually... I never turned that in from yesterday. Let's see here for the girl. Napier is firm that you're being successful gathering materials. It, it may be making your trials easier for remember that. Here's a reward. Um, let's see. What else do I need? It's a poison hammer, a medica 2, and 600 yen. So let's see. Pale, a member of Pale Horse, my comrades went to, into the forest for a week ago and then found them. So find them. Uh, farmers. Should know how to crop. Honey of the Amber Bee. Let's see. The Pale Horse. Let's see. Pale Horse is lost. Campgrounds. Maybe we'll be able to something if we check the campgrounds on floor two. Okay. So, um... Let's go ahead and take a poke at that. Yeah, these things are now, as you'd expect an RPG, now kind of a joke. Okay, campground's floor two. Which I can't remember that. Also, one thing I found out that unfortunately, uh, when we killed the FOEs last time... Oh, are they back? Oh, they returned. Okay. So the thing with killing the FOEs is that um, as you kill the FOE, uh, it takes an entire an in-game week to respawn. There we go. I'm trying to remember where the campground is in this. Okay. Okay, there's the weird door. Uh, well, so the thing with the FOE is that they give a shit ton of XP and special items. I guess it's just that FOE that spawned in again. Oh yeah, also... Um, what? Okay, that's a gathering spot. Well, if they did, then they didn't really... <laughs> do that... Tremendous of a job. I wonder if that. Oh, I wonder if the spot by the FOE is actually where. Is that the campground? Let's see, following the, tri the tip the member of the Bertram gave you, come to a campground, all the areas clear, you find traces of the previous camp for the brief search. Discover a journal in a pile of ash. The blue horse marking shows that this is a pale horse journal. The page says, it's about time we head down to the first floor, but caution precedes us all. We look before we leap and never leap. Don't look. What does the next thing to do? Reach the third floor and find a place to strike camp. The ability to explore hinges on the ability to find a safe place for rest. You make sure to remember the details in the diary entry before continuing your search. 
so we can't attack camp there. Hey, Koyo! Okay, so let's go to the third floor. Let's figure out how to use a map. Okay, I'm curious, how much does... Because I gave Lomi the bandage skill, how much does that actually heal? Barely anything, but that's enough. Now is when things can actually start to get painful. If I suddenly stop to sense monsters, looking around, you discover monsters are tearing the backpack. The monsters have noticed you, they buried their things. Okay. That looks like a lot of things, so let's. Line guard. Probably don't need that much. Let's just attack. Skills. Okay. Oop, nope, I don't want you to defend. I want you to attack. I want... Oh, straight. That's what I want to do. Binary thunder. Let's see how this works. Oh, that's... I'm dead. What did a decent, decent amount of dam damage? Oh, there we go. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Find is served by issued by the Sentinel Sun so the interior of the damage pack. The idea is a Blue Force logo. Seems like it went missing on B3. Alright. I think when I was grinding, I... Oh, here we go. This could be... Okay, good. That wasn't too bad. I think it's... Yeah. I made one here. Toby might actually need proper healing. suck. Or not. So is this the campground? I don't think it is. I don't think I've played that before. Okay, was there, there had to be something here. Was there just nothing here? Not even a... Okay. Alright, there we go. Uh, this is going to require some healing. Oh, okay.
Oh, I oh I think I know where the campground is. Yes, go. We open the doors, hoping to f hoping that the worst hasn't happened, but the little blood is thick. The deep pools of blood, large enough that, that, that f large enough to float firewood, hinted the atrocity that occurred. From scattered remains, there is no mistaking this word pale horse camp. You search the area, but all you find continues to prove the work that the worst took place here. There is little point in investigating further. You've done all you could. You return to the bar and return the sad news to the client awaiting you. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and do that just for... Okay, let's see. Actually, let's look at... What is it? Oh, nope, I don't need to do that. Look, quests. Okay, poison hammer. Find an amber bean nest. Bring, or bring a farmer to... Oh, farmer never above level two. What skills does my party have? Oh, a farmer of level that's right, that's a class. Okay. Okay, so that, that one is explicitly... Bring this one class there. Also, I could have used... I have a thread, but I don't want to... On base, I could actually use it up. I kind of wish that that was just... They just did that for basic, because... I'm kind of torn on what I feel about the, um, on what I feel about the difficulties in this. Because Picnic is, like, way too easy. And since you can have the same file and, like, you can just, you just switch difficulty on the fly. Uh, Picnic mode just kind of renders some of the game trivial. Which I just suppose it ain't the end of the world. It's just, I find it funny for what this game tries to do. It's more, I, like, I am surprised that it is in this game. Actually, is there? Let's see. Is there actually a weight function? Not that I could. Like, I probably. Oh, that's not what I want to do.
go. Yeah, that's that's kind of what I was using. It has off screen. Yeah. Oh, whoops. I did not mean to go here, but this is one thing we are going to be doing. Oh, members of Sea Slug, this is Inver, Armor Road's largest straight port, or what's left of it. The calamity struck about a century ago. The topo topography changed and, commence and commerce ended. Since then, many have worked to reopen trade routes, but no one seems to get ships out of past currents. That's why the Senatus and I are setting sail to create new sea charts. The reward is handsome indeed. If you can chart a course from here to the north, it'd be worth it. I've even gotten you to lend you a ship exclusively for sea slugs use. Got a name in mind? Um, hmm. Hmm. Let's see. There we go, let's see. All right. So we can actually, there is some sailing mechanics. But I should, oop, I should go here either. Oop. I will, I swear I'll get, here we go. Report, here we go. Let's see, are you back? I've been waiting for you. The party from Pale Horse that went missing came back the moment you left. What, what are you saying? No, they were all fine. No one was even wounded. Oh wait, they did say they were attacked by monsters in the camp B3, but they slaughtered them all and roasted them for dinner. Well, you saw must have come from the monsters, yes? Well, I'm glad that you're back safe. Here's your reward. It's not good to be in the lab for too long. People start to worry. Yay. Uh, do I get any new? Let's see, letter in a bottle. I found a letter in a bottle on the beach. I want to write back, but I don't know what to say. Please help me. You're actually accepting that request. It's more of an advisor position, though. It seemed the innkeeper's son found a bottle on a beach with a letter in it. He read it and said it came from somewhere not of this world. Well, I mean of the city. He colored me with a surprise paint. A letter all the way across the sea. Anyway, the son wants to write a letter back, but he does not know what you should say. Such inexperience, but this is what youth is. He doesn't even know if it will get there. But that's not the point, though. He wants some help in writing a letter. That's it. Now go. Oh, hello, everyone. You're here to see me. Oh, you accepted my request. Thank you so much. Isn't it wonderful how a letter from an outside world made it here? Oh, I'm sorry. It's not really important, is it? Let me see. tell you about the letter. A girl named Ellie wrote the letter. She says she's a fisherman's daughter. I think she really likes flowers. She wrote a lot about this field she can see at home. I saw the rose, too. What should I would have write back to her? Uh, write about flowers. Okay. Oh, wait, stor wait, storage fees? Let's see. And I take it. No more available request. Okay, so let's see. Let's go. Uh, I think I have everything I need. That's not that big of a boost. That's not big of a big of a boost. That's barely a boost. Oh, right. Uh, giving you some technical point wouldn't be the worst. 
guys can sell the old one. Oh, also I can forge... Oh, right, you actually... Might be good to give you poison. Let's try that. Alright. Let's see how the sailing in this game works. I also need to load food. It's a very tasty. Let's see, got some biscuits. Well, for everybody, you can take this flag as well. It's a good luck charm, commonly hoisted by fishermen. They catch the object is to fill in the sea map. The voyages get pretty costly, so I press deal. When you notice fish during your voyage, catch and bring them back. They'll bring in a bit of income. Just make sure you keep your eyes on the real prize. Okay. Oh, I guess that's all I got. All right. You set out the vast ocean on the small ship you received. Your duty is to chart the boundless ocean, burning its shores and shoals on the map. But you start to start area around armor to get used to navigating the seas. No. Oh, I see. Your spy goes to see marines from the armor road gather around. To me hard at work, you can embark here and talk to them and continue anyway. Sure. I see. Let's try again. Green goods of car voyage are cool. At least I I made more. Sh sure. Oh, okay. Cool. Good. Oh, nine flying fish. Ah, oh, there we go. That was worth. Now let's try again. to investigate. Good cedar wood. If you work back some armor wood cedar. Okay. Alright. Uh, I mean, kind of.
Let's check something. Sorry, just checking something. Alright. Okay, enough of that. Okay, so we need to find some cedar, which means I need to find a tree chopping point. Uh, which I can't exactly remember where that is, but... Yeah, also the thing is, now that we're higher leveled, it's getting much higher, much more expensive to sleep at the inn. Let's at least save. I'm trying to remember where the shopping spot is. Now there's that one to the north. Let's see what I got. Soft bark. Supple branch. Uh, I think I actually needed that for something. Okay, let's continue back down to floor three. Now the FOEs are returning. Okay. Alright. Also, I see that poison's hitting... Spot? Okay, it's camping spot. You know what? Since we're getting here, let's see. Ah, there we go. Why do I get an achievement for camping? I thought I really should be complaining about that, but it's still a little silly. This guy who wants. Let's see, do I have any materials? I think I have a punch and ivy. Oh, okay. I cannot. Okay. 
Where am I? You know what? It's probably just ba barely made it. No, the question remains. Oh, I went the wrong way. Shit. Not that I think it matters too much. Oh, well. Up oh, here's what the uh, FOE fight is. Okay, let's actually do this. Oh, I wish, I wish I knew which uh, thing that is. Oh, actually, can I check? Okay, it's weak to ice. And strong against fire. Okay, good to know. I'm actually, I wonder if I can poison it. I bet you I can. Oh shit, you are poisoned. Okay. I forgot, I think... Yeah, it's Pierce, and then Refresh. He has Strike. Oh, I don't have Ice, damn it. Uh, does this have Pierce? This one has Pierce, yeah. Provoke you. It's gonna attack you. Let's see how badly you eat shit this round. Let's see if I can poison you, because that might help. Did not seem like it goes through. Okay, I'm just gonna start wailing on you. Oh, it's almost dead. I'm healing just in case. Okay, there we go. So there, there is, there is an FOE fight. Oh, we got the item from it, which is actually nice. Uh, so that is actually worth a good amount of money. Now the question is, is that the FOEs here are red FOEs instead of orange FOEs, and they are right bastards. Campground. Uh, well, not that bad off. Actually, what is my? Okay. Well, I should be good unless I had an FOE. Which it looks like they they're not gonna probably respawn for a little bit.
Okay, there we go. Okay, can I go past this thing? Okay, this guy. You're free to... Let's see, this young man says inside... Oh, hey, Medica 2. Do not fight in anything but peak condition. Makes sense. Oh. Oh good, it's night. Oh. Oh, is this... It's going in a circle? Oh. There we go. Uh, I should probably just... Just in case. Let's see, what is in this box? Nectar 2. Oh, this looks like it's gonna suck. Oh, we're almost to it. Oh, this looks like it's gonna be an asshole. Um... Oh, also I forgot to check, how is the volume on this? A little low. Oh, I found it. Okay. Oh, there's purple scale. Okay. You know what? Here's the thing.
Can I just get this frog cheek? Oh. I'm good. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, is that a running spot? Topaz. Oh, uh, with ice. Okay. That's the thing we've not gotten yet. Okay, good. Oh, it's like... Like a... Hair away from... Next level. That's unfortunate. Oh, come on. I imagine just. Ooh, what's this? Press the button. Oh! Sure. Oh. Okay, good. There we go. Uh, custom skill, let's see, what do we got? I was trying to... your mastery and then kind of focus on gun mastery so that way I can do get multi hits. Focus on the master, and that's everyone. Okay. You know what? I think I am going to use my. Thread. Or actually, we are very close to having the item cap, so. I think come towards me. Oh, tough two. Come on, I got two of them. Uh, you know what? Screw it. I'm just using the thread.
Knowledge Book, Game Goggles, Life Build. Oh, new bow. Which poison charm. Let's see, 11 more, and that's Agility, which Agility is good because I think there's something that bases off of that. A hundred. Try two. Oh, there's the eastern nest. Get a hundred dollars on that pack. Volt Affinity give it an electrical attack, or does it just make it better against things that are weak? Like, hmm. Let's try Poison, because poisoning seems to be generally pretty good. No, I should do attack power as well. Oh, it only has two slots, but I can sh just go ahead and change that. Oh, I can't change it. Oh, well. It does kind of have that vibe to it, yeah. Okay, let's go to the inn and stay. We are kind of just going through trying to get. I'm trying to. Let's see, what do I have? Oh, the Amber B. Okay. Okay. Okay, so what we're gonna do, yeah, is we're gonna save. Let's go and try and fight this Narmer.
I really should unlock some shortcuts to make it getting to the further, deeper dungeons a little bit easier. Uh, at least this FOE here is not going to be annoying us. Let's see, the ones respond here? Not yet. Oh, right. I'm gonna try and go for. The question is, is this the normal? Well, we're about to find out, I think. Oh, what the hell? Stop, stop, stop! Oh no! That's... This is very unfortunate. How much health does it have? Uh, so the FOE joined the battle. That's also not what I was thinking. You know what, we're doing this. Okay, that was not what I... And the problem is I couldn't figure out what the button was to get out of it.
Okay. So, I have started, but I have not, I've basically just gotten past the tutorial of, of Armored Core 6. And I'm curious to see how that is. Oh, is this just the treasure room? Yeah. Are you kidding me? <sighs> that's just it's not even me. That's like just like that is very much a it, MK Walker RPG ass. It knew. That blow me is the only one that can revive at the moment. That's okay. I can get revenge. It is time to beat the shit out of some... <laughs> With the power of, I am using options that the game has given me to kick the shit out of that deer. And that snake.
get out of my way. <laughs> yeah, just for just for point of reference, how quick I can kill those things in picnic mode. This is more of the thing that I was like an illustration of just how I think pick picnic mode just seems a little bit too. Like, it is literally just, I don't think I can actually die in this mode. Uh, which did give me the idea is, I wonder how far I can just... I wonder if I could just speedrun this game in picnic mode. In a couple hours. Just no need to grind, just completely demolish the game. in picnic mode. shit out of you. Oh, there's something down here. I'm gonna, like, do that scene in Nichi Show of the, the principal. Come here. Yeah, how'd you like that? I got your skin. Again, for reference, the guy that I was looking at said that you can beat the first boss in this area at around level 17. We have definitely gone past that. Ooh, I am. Oh, for formaldehyde? Okay. Why is there formaldehyde in a box here? Provides all my- Oh! Okay. That's... Interesting. Okay, you. Okay, you don't have- there. Let's see, what's this? Leg hammer. Oh, is that like a volt? Is that like uh, one of those? Oh, leg bind. Okay. map. 
I've the only place I've not gone is the weird crescent shaped door. Is there anywhere else I've because that just leads to a treasure chest. Oh, there's still, yeah, there's still stuff over here. Oh, it actually survived a turn. An enemy encounter actually survived a turn in this. Or 19. Um. Oh, hey, another one. Oh, hey, here's the beehive. There we go. I did the correct coin flip. Oh, here's a bridge. Members of the Burasumi Guild. The boy nin Oh, hey, here's the boy ninja guy. Here's an armor. Yes. Want to work together to beat that thing? Let's see. I have to get to the second stratum, no matter what it takes. Pal pass over got his face, but it clears quickly in the woods. So how about it? Sure. Is it normally going to be the actual final boss of this stratum? This is gonna be. Oh. You spot Hypatia for you. Let's see, this muddy. Narma used the mud to move for in the wetland. As part of the girls, you see a large fish snake in the mud. This Narma is so at home in the wetland, you must grasp the topography to block its path. Right, keep in mind, drive into the corner. Once it's stuck, strike from behind. Just these straws are worth. Oh. I am kind of curious how much of a shit show this will be. I kind of want to see how this works in <laughs> picnic mode. I don't have a choice. Okay, cool.
Oh, it is actively avoiding me. You know, for me, this... Now I want to just kick, kill it and pick it go, because this thing's just being a shit. Okay. As I apparently cannot solve this puzzle. Uh, yes please. surroundings. Is the best way to just get... Uh, I wonder if it, it's better to get in a downward one. Okay, and it is just going to go into a corner no matter which direction I move when I'm not in the... It's 
smartest room that meets the eye. Hey, Vega. Uh... Oh. Let's see, a small crack in the wall, Chris can fit. Ah! I see. Hey, why don't you go over there, buddy? Just stay there. Oh, huh. Wait. Oh, I went the wrong one, that's why. Oh. Cool. Wait, where's the... Yeah, I kind of wish that it... Uh, marked, demarcated when... Oh, I didn't move the other one. Oh wait, actually. There we go. All right. It's also funny because Narmer is also a sandwich at a local. <laughs> uh, there is a regional sub shop called Urban and Gerberts that has the Narmer. I think it's their turkey. Oh, that's unfortunate. Wow, cool, what a weak attack. Yeah, that's what I kind of figured. <laughs> oh, there's my victory. You're amazing, each one and every one. I can't believe... Girl surprise game. Now we can all go to the second stratum. I didn't, didn't want to go yet! There's a door... Oh, okay, good. <laughs> So say there's a room I haven't gone to yet. Oh, there we go. Wait, when you t mean two rounds against them, what exactly do you mean? Oh, they flee if- oh, okay. Let's see, work your way through the new stream the deep blue ocean's floor. As you look this way, wonder might your gaze figure before you. So you're the, the Sea Slug Guild, yes? You have best with Narmer. Your strength is considerable. But starts to cast sight any frivolous notion, you're strong enough to further straight him. It's the undersea grotto. Somewhere here lies the clue's deep city that sunk long ago. 
None have found them yet. Worse, many more explorers have vanished here compared to the realm above. Understand that the dangers here are far beyond anything you've faced in the first stratum. Bijara then turns to the north and notes you to look that direction. I'll leave you the last piece of advice. You see that pillar of light? You look in the direction. Let's see. That is a submagnetic pole. It's working hard numb, but it will allow you to travel freely between the labyrinth and town. Perhaps it is a remnant of deep sea cities old technology. We have no knowing, but we know for sure is that it is useful. Remember it during your travels in the straight stratum. Alright. Oh, there we go. It's a reward. Oh, bunny. Oh, cool. Also, oh, level up. Too good. All right. Let's see, your chef's bow, bar boots, chart hammer. Oh yeah, I have a shit ton of stuff. Oh jeez. Oh yeah, that's a... Yeah, that's a, that's a nice one. Let's see, forge. Uh, oh, how much is that going to take to... Yep, that's what I was thinking, where you have to wait for the boss to respawn. <laughs> okay. Oh well. Okay, that's hard one. Oh, also probably should. So, I'm kind of a little bit at a crossroads with this game because I can sit here and grind and play more of it, but in terms of what I like to do on these streams, which is just kind of take a look at the game, because I feel like this is a game that you probably would want to play yourself, and this is just kind of giving you an idea of what it is. Uh, so I know I'm not going to be finishing this. I'm kind of thinking about just kind of pummeling through in Picnic to see if maybe getting to the end of the straight and seeing how quickly I can do that, and then calling it there. Because I think this game's very good, it's just, I don't know how much of a personal stream game this is. 
Which I know there are definitely people I know who are streaming this. But from like a mechanical overview... It's an FOE. What is that thing? Abyssal Death. Cool. Let's see. You can feed the cute little fish or ignore them. Feed the fish. Oh, cool. Save the pool of fish? Yeah. Oh. Oh, I wonder if that's because I have an arbalist with me. Wait, what? Oh, I got Pig Iron Fang. It's you. It's not what it is, but I have a terrible fear of those blue people halls. So I'm sorry, I am. Let's see. Blue is, an blue is a lovely color, and I am not biased at all. Observation. Oh, that, what the hell is that? A high oak on that, the thing looks high up, right? Seabees fur. Oh, hey. Oh, hey, it's you.
He does kind of have that look to him. Oh, we got the rare drop again, too. At least I think that's the rare drop. Oh, there's the... Okay, I wonder, is there a... Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, that's there. Uh, I guess not. No. Oh, okay. So it is going to be currents. Naturally, as any good blobber. Hey, what kind of FOE is here? It's a giant fish. It's a sea wanderer. There's two of them. There's three of them. Twenty two thousand XP. I have a feeling that I wasn't supposed to be able to do that. But alas. But the power of picnic mode. So I did... How many levels have I gotten since... Oh, just the one. <laughs> it's like the instead of... Uh, instead of, um... power of time magic, I had the power of easy mode. Alright, now I got swashbuckling. Oh, god damn it. Sea grapes. Okay, that is just 
the double current. I really wish that the full auto map would just automatically map the currents. I'm just kind of surprised it doesn't. Okay, is this... Okay, it's just that. Is that that? Yeah, that's that. Let's see, how much money am I going to get from this? I have a feeling it's going to be a lot. Elaine, a new bow, hunting sword, sleep guard, guard soul, and Rita. Yeah, farmer of space. Oh yeah, that's a lot. Arquebus, Meteor Hammer, Coin Loafers. Is this already a new... Okay. Oh, that's a spear. Okay. Oh, that's right here, okay. Yes. Oh yeah, also, let's see what the, uh, what are the other classes or things we got? The Fish Festival. If we very quickly so created Oh, it's just okay, kill more of those. Your monster Okay. Let's see, fossils. Okay, I'm curious what the... Okay, what is the... Okay, what are... What are the FOEs here? Oh, it's just these things. Other. Also, it's great because we have not gained limit yet. So we don't have our limit break. So I thought, in, I think in four you get it much earlier. Okay, is it all these things?
Yeah, until they're in hard mode until we can figure out a stomp stomp on the ground. Okay, it is just this. There we go. Cool. Oh, right, we didn't do that. That. Ah, oh, fire hammer. Okay. All right, so... I'm gonna be kinda honest, I kinda think we've seen enough of this game. Like, I think this game is... Um... I think that, like... This game's very, like, I I think this game is very good. Um, but in regards to, like, showing it off, um, the things about it that I think are neat are things that are probably better to experience yourself. Uh, from a mechanical standpoint, it is an incredibly good blobber. Arguably one of the best. Give me one second. So, I think what we're gonna do is I'm actually going to Exit the game, and I think we're actually going to put this on the board. I was not expecting it to do this early, but I kind of... I'm starting to kind of feel... a bit of the, I think I am good. So rather than me just kind of... like... just kind of... Uh, this is definitely a game that I feel is better... Played on your own and not in front of an audience. Uh, J4 E14. Which also means that I'm going to have some work this afternoon uh, to get some things ready. Uh, and this came out technically 2023. Uh, Landcarst is the actual developer. Atlas is the publisher. Uh, PC. Uh, it is an RPG. Uh, and it is anime as all hell. Okay. So. Uh, like I said, uh, despite us not playing it that terribly long... Uh, I, I think this game is very good. Yeah, also, this is not, like, a... This is not a binge game in IMO. But I'm kind of looking at things. Did I see... Did I put... Uh... I'm actually curious. What are the RPGs that I have? What is the top-ranking RPG that I have? Uh, wonder what it's going to go. Um... Wait, is it seriously Kadoka? No, it's not Kadoka. Uh, 
there's gotta, there's gotta be one at, that's minus. Okay, Threads of Fate. Oh, Metal Max! Uh, oh, hmm. Metal Max is very good. I, ooh, that's tough. Metal Max is very good. Do I have another one? Yeah. Chain, Chain Echoes is also very good. Do I think that this is better than either of those? Because the problem is, is that while this game's good, they, it's the problem I also know that the other game, like the later, like Etrian Odyssey 4. But also... Huh... This remake does have, like, a lot of nice features. I, I, I ref on the picnic, picnic mode being kind of really super easy mode, but... I... You know what? Screw it. I think this is an S. I think this game is very good. Uh, only main problem that I have, and that's kind of a temporary one, because I don't feel like it's going to be like this for long. This game's kind of expensive. But there's a lot of games like that. Uh, things to say. Um, music and charm in this these games are very good. Also, I would say that the gameplay is also pretty good. Uh, of the blobber type, it is probably the best. Other than that, I can't really think. Uh, that being s You know, I would say that maybe the difficulty might be a distraction point. Uh, blobber is basically one of the... It's a dungeon scrawler in which you are playing as multiple people. Uh, the reason it's called a blobber is that you are essentially a giant... You're considering that you're moving all at once, you are basically a giant blob of a party. Uh, but anyway, I would say the difficulty might be a, you might like it or hate it, but also the picnic mode completely trivializes any difficulty. If you have any problems with something, just put on picnic mode and you'll kick the shit out of it, guaranteed. Yeah. So... That's where I'm going to put Ed Tree and Odyssey 3. I think this game is very good, and it's probably one that you'll like more likely enjoy. Uh, I don't know if I'd say it's too hard. It is just, it is, it's hard. Um, also, I will say, uh, because it is something that uh, I've mentioned to some other folks, that uh, I'm probably am not going to be finishing this up, that, um, yeah, it... From what I saw, the changes of basic to the original, it's more or less of a pain in the ass than it is, like, you still gotta do the stuff. It is just less of a pain in the ass to do it. Um, and I will say, the story in this one, actually, because apparently Etrian Odyssey 2 and 3, or 1 and 2, are not that story heavy. Etrian Odyssey 3 uh, does actually try and add some interesting story elements. Uh, that, unfortunately, we did not get to see, but if you played the game yourself, you can see it at, as much as you want. So, there will be that. Um, let me, also, I, I gotta... I'm getting groceries delivered. Um, and I they're asking about a substitute for something real quick. Makes it 20%. Okay. That's fine. No, it's 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 more the sliced chicken breast, which I kind of find interesting. But yes. Um Yeah, there's some story there's some plot beats in the first one that are kinda weird. 
from what I've heard. But yeah. Anyway, I guess with that, um, that's actually going to do it for this journal because this journal is done. We have hit the end. Our visit to the Electrotech is done. So, um, I'm not going to start the next thing yet, but I will give you a little bit of a teaser because, uh, yeah, <laughs> that is that is definitely a way of phrasing it. Um, while we're not going to start it, I will give you a little preview of what is to come next Thursday. Uh, where's my thing? There it is. Because uh, I got to do some stuff I'm not... So I need to make sure I hit the right buttons. Uh, what is Thursday and Friday? Is that gonna? Be, which one is that? Is that um? Oh, that's a that is train, isn't it? Uh, that is in fact trains in winter rains. Okay. All right. So. Let's go ahead and do this, and then I gotta do this, and then I gotta do, we can hide this one, and move you over here. So, uh, going to be some slight differences with how the journals work going forward. Because before, uh, they were all four categories to a bit. Uh, but we're going to do things a little differently this next time. So. We're going on a train trip. Uh, because uh, going between Hazeltown and the big city... Uh, the area has a very good train system, and we need things to uh, occupy our time while we are on the train. So here you can see, uh, instead of having four categories in a row, uh, they are uh, kind of broken up. They're kind of randomized throughout this, so it's not going to be the same thing over and over again. I mean, I feel like that's, I mean, we'll have to see how this works. Uh, also, uh, did I finish this up? I did not. <laughs> so no more seeing past that, but yeah. It just kind of loops again three times. Uh, so there's going to be actually less spaces on the board overall. But um, yeah, uh, that is what we can look forward to next Thursday. But anyway, uh, we're not going to pick our game yet, so, so we'll have to wait until next Thursday to do it. Uh, so that is going to do it for today. Uh, so let's go ahead and wrap this up. So thank you uh, for watching. Uh, I have a Twitter and technically I'm, I'm more just kind of looking at that, not, not super active on that. I am much more active on co-host. I do also have Blue Sky, which I need to add to that link. Uh, I do also have a Discord where you can check me, take part in polls, get notified on when I go live. Uh, I try and keep the schedule up to date there. Um, and just a... It's a Discord. You do Discord things in there. Um, you can get very cursed soundboard things if you have Nitro. Uh, like, you can, uh, get some very disturbing, uh, MacGruber noises to play at people, or whenever you join a room, because Discord... What even other... Oh, does it... Oh, it doesn't let me see the soundboard while I'm not in the thing. Anyway, uh, th that's there. You can also get an emote of the entirety of the intro of, uh, Zelda Faces of Evil for the CDI, if you want. Uh, anyway, I also have a coffee page where you can help with hosting costs and get other things. Uh, help me buy the games that I play on here. Uh, and there's other links to other places that you can see in the video description if you're watching Son of Odd, or you can watch this uh, if you're watching live. You can look at the chat. Uh, yes. 
uh, and you can see my schedule there. Uh, so yeah, on next episode's going to be on Sunday. We are going to probably be wrapping up another or a different. Uh, uh, we're going to be wrapping up a, probably the other journal there. Uh, but we're going to be starting with EDF and then moving on to the last game. EDF 5, to be specific. Uh, I'm just going to let you go because it's a, I, I still don't know who's streaming on a Saturday afternoon. Or s Friday afternoon, whatever day it is. I clearly need to go do something. Anyway, I hope you enjoy your weekend. I will see you again on Sunday, hopefully. Bye-bye.